Hello, my Cancer. How are you? Cancers of the light, thank you for choosing Tibu Tarot. I am Enchanted One and I deliver guided intuitive messages directly from the divine. Welcome to your March 2019 love reading. My Cancers and Cancerians, what I will be doing is pulling from the collective energy of the zodiac sign of Cancer, of course, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And of course, the cross watcher. Let's see what energies are present as it relates to your love life in the month of March 2019. Calling upon the romance angels at this time. Thank you, romance angels, for your guidance. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for this opportunity. What message do you have for my cancers as it relates to the month of March 2019? All right, we have two very serious cards here, Cancer. Free yourself. It is time for you to take back control of your life. Free yourself. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. All right, Cancer. What is going on? What's going on with the Cancer? Very soon wants to come out. Release your ex. Look at that. All right. So, Cancer, what I'm feeling here is that there is a situation that's calling for you to release what no longer serves you. Okay? This situation is calling for you to release what no longer serves you. They want you to go ahead and do this pretty fast because you're blocking yourself, all right? And there's a blockage here. You're blocking yourself from something so beautiful. Release your ex, all right? The time has come for you to clear your energy, all right? Someone is now good. And you know this, Cancer. You know it. I'm just here reiterating and validating what you already know. This is confirmation. This is your confirmation for love as it relates to March 2019, Cancer. Release your ex. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. They see you loving you. They don't have a choice but to love you because you love you. And because you love you, you are not going to make decisions that are going to affect you negatively, that are going to harm you or anything that concerns you because you're in tune with your star player is what I'm feeling here. For those of you that are not, very soon, quickly state what you want so that it comes to you now. Do you want to stay in this relationship, Cancer? Do you want to stay in this partnership where there is only one person that's working to make this connection work? What is it that you want? They're saying, tell us what you want and we will help you. We'll guide you through this process, but you've got to make the decision first. All right. Let's get some angel answers out. Angel answers, what messages do you have for my cancers as it relates to the love life, romantic issues, March 2019? Ask your angels. Well, well, well. Look at there. Ask your angels, honey. Ask your angels for assistance. If you believe in reverse, because some of you don't believe that you can get out of this situation. And you need to know that you, you absolutely can because there's an opportunity. All right? There's an opportunity. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right? So whatever situation that you're in romantically, your spirit guides and angels are calling for you to get out of this. Get out of it right now. Choose a new direction. Get out of it right now, Cancer. 
Get out of it right now. It's nothing good. It's not going to bring you anything that you want. Get out of it. They keep saying, get out. Get out. Tarot, as it relates to the cancer and their love life, romantic issues. We've got the four of wands, all right? This is what you're hoping for. You're hoping for the four of wands. Got the knight of sword in reverse, all right? Someone isn't willing to rush into a situation. Someone doesn't want to rush into a commitment. Hmm. Five of sword. What is going on here? The outcome. It's the nine of sword. You're still in your head. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you could have this um, energy here in your magnetic field in your chart. However, I see fire. I see air. All right. Strong air here. And the five of swords, knight of swords in reverse, the four of wands. What you're hoping for is the four of wands, a stable, solid family, home life, an improvement when it comes to the home. All right. With your, your advice from the divine is to get out, is to free yourself, is to release your ex, is to put yourself first, respect yourself and do all of this in a timely manner. All right. Do it in a timely manner. Release what's no longer serving you. Because this has got you sick. Whatever this is, you're sick mentally. I'm picking up on some mental illness. Or you could be dealing with someone that has some mental illness, some mental issues. This is making you mental. Get out of it. Let it go. You're hoping for the four of wands. But this night of sort, this night rushes in. To a commitment, a relationship, or a situation. They're not rushing in. They're taking their time and they're doing whatever it is that they want to do. And you over here, you're like, you know what? You could have been with someone for five years. They're with holding this five of sword here. I, they want you to... Use your throat chakra and your third eye chakra. All right? Your throat chakra and your third eye chakra. Use your third chakra. Make sure that it's at cleanse, clear, and activated so there's clear communication coming out. You're able to say what you mean and mean what you say and then act upon it. They want you to use your third eye chakra to help you see beyond. See beyond the BS. Eight of Cups in reverse. Someone doesn't want to move on from this connection. Someone doesn't want to move on. But they're telling you to move on. You're stuck. You've been stagnant. They're telling you to move on. It's right there. Tarot, please clarify the Nine of Sword. Tarot, please clarify the, nine, the Knight of Sword. The Knight of Sword for the Cancer. Love, 2018. Five of Pentacles. All right. So someone is feeling left out in the cold. Here. Someone is experiencing a lack. Someone is feeling a lack. Whatever this energy is, it's not for you, Cancer. It's not for you. Lack is not of the Father. Even if they have you feeling that way, they shouldn't. No one has a right to make you feel left out in the cold. You're struggling. You're tired. Get out of it. Is there any more information here for the cancer? I'm hearing changes, major changes in the month of March as it relates to the love life for the cancer. We've got the Empress and the Queen of Wands. The Emperor and the Queen of Wands, all right? So you could be dealing with the Aries. This could be you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in reverse. You don't feel beautiful. This is draining, this is draining your life force. 
You don't feel beautiful. You don't feel I'm here involved. You don't feel involved. You don't feel like you're involved in a relationship. You don't feel like you're involved in life. You can just be going to work, doing a mundane routine, and then you come home and you back at it, back to the petty quarrels and the arguments. But you're hoping, you're hoping for this four of wands. And there is a positive change coming into your home life. But you've got to make that change. You've got to believe that it's coming. Ask Spirit what's your next course of action. And watch you be divinely guided and divinely led. All right, my cancer. That's what I have for you, for your love. Get out of there right now. Don't waste another second. Don't even waste another second watching this video. After you hit the like, the, the like button and the thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell so you can get your guidance as soon as it uploads, all right? And go and after you do that, go ahead on and, 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 and see what you need to do moving forward because I see where this change is here to help bring about another change. You're improving health. Some of you need to be focused on your health. Love yourself first. Love yourself enough not to put the same toxins back in your body after you've been cleansed and healed. Ask others for help. Ask your angels for help. They're assisting you. They already said that we're guiding you. We got you. No need for you to feel like this. Or maybe this is you making someone feel that way. Be very mindful of the karma and the energy you send out into the ether. Because that's what comes right back to you. Until the next time I cancer, I pray that you are using your spirit of discernment and that you're healed in the best possible way. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading, you can email me, enchantedreadings316 at gmail.com. I'm also listed in the description box below. Until the, until the next time, namaste.